Hello everyone, this is Ralph from Ralph's Trucking. Five and a half years ago, I moved into this house me and my wife built. Back of the house, forward of this side, Bermuda side they put in when they built the house. They did not do the backyard. They, we didn't even ask what the price was. I was already pumping my budget. I tried and I tried to get grass growing. So I had to do what I did before when me and my ex-wife Moved into a single wall and it had no grass. I got the grass grow so good that winter. We cut the grass four times that winter. Yes. Grass didn't die. So let me tell you what I did. This summer, we had all the trees in the backyard cut. The neighbor, between me and the neighbor's house, we had like a three-foot ditch between our houses. We put a 10-inch pipe, and then they let the dump trucks go to their backyard and dump in my backyard. I had nine truckloads of dirt brought in. They paid me a little bit for the dirt and a stick of a pipe. I'm more than happy, pleased. So, beginning of September, all I have was a dirt backyard. And here's what the photos look like. As you can see, most of the yard is now flat, but it's that red clay. It's all we have around here in Western North Carolina is red clay in the south. So, how did that get grass to grow so quick and so easy? You might ask. We have landscaper guys that cut our grass. I had them come over, and I wanted them to rake the backyard because you saw the tracks from the skid steer. And then I wanted them to put the starter fertilizer the lime, the grass seed, and then my special little, special little topping I wanted to put on. Well, they didn't rake the backyard. They did core aerate the yard. And here's a video of that. They did aerate the yard. I had them do the whole front and backyard. I already had the special ingredient dropped on my front driveway. So I didn't have a wheelbarrow. I'm only home a day a week. My back won't let me spread this special ingredient. But let me show you what it looks like before and during and the day. Cue the intro. Okay, well, uh, while editing, I forgot to mention, I did put starter fertilizer. I had them put starter fertilizer, but I found at Lowe's. You can also buy it on Amazon. I also had them put a couple bags of lime right there. Just general pedalized lime. Here's our soil is needs lime, and I probably need to put more lime on it. And then since I am in such a shady backyard with the houses and all that, I put right here, and I'll put a link to it on the Amazon link in the description, I put in shaded grass seed only needs two to six hours of uh, sunlight for it to grow now after they did that i had already bought five yards of compost that a local landscape place up the street 
I think it was $40 a yard and $40 for delivery. And they dropped it on the yard. Now, if I had a pickup truck, I would have had it taken, loaded it up myself, saved the $40. And then you wouldn't need a wheelbarrow to spread it because all you just do is drive your pickup truck back there and just spread compost. That's my secret ingredient is compost. And after top of that, you put straw. And then you just water every day. I have it set on a timer. Only problem is one section over here by the back patio didn't get enough water because the sprinkler back there shoots distance. It don't shoot close. So I've moved the stuff around. So let me show you what it looks like now. This is first week after the grass came up. I had to move the sprinkler because it wasn't hitting over here too good. So I got a sprinkler there to get all this side. I might have to, the grass is just now starting to come up over here. If you want grass to grow in clay, this is what you have to do. Level out the ground, break it, fertilize the lime, put your grass seed down, and as you can see, all the black is compost. Put a layer of compost down, and you'll have a nice layer of grass. Since this is a shady area, as you can see, I put shade grass fescue back here only needs two hours of daylight two to six i probably got about five or six but to be safe this is what it looks like about a week after the grass started coming up it's now october 5th i believe As you can see, grass is coming up at just some areas the compost is thicker than others. We did grass seed a little bit of the neighbors because all the fresh dirt. Here's the 10 inch pipe. My biggest deal was make sure grass is growing around this. He sprayed his yard off. He's gonna replant too. I just got to jump to them. That sprinkler right there gets this whole side and goes all the way around. There's nine loads of dirt to level out this yard plus the pipe. As you can see, the shade. Good deal. It's been a month since I had the grass seeded. I went ahead and cut this backyard out of two. This is Bermuda. They planted when they built the house five and a half years ago. And I went ahead and raised the deck of the lawnmower all the way up to four. To cut this grass. This is 31 days since they seeded it. What they used was Starter fertilizer, 
lime, grass seed. Since this is very shaded, I used shaded grass seed, like will be up here. And then I topped off with compost. Now the guys that did it used an aerator because all this dirt here from right here back is all brand new dirt. Nine truckloads of dirt came in this backyard. There's some patches. I'm gonna have to receive. There's a few patches, I ain't got much. Over here, it's light because it wasn't getting water. That sprinkler there, which shoots out, don't shoot close. I move that sprinkler. But if you want grass like this, and good old North Carolina red clay, or any clay, in 30 days, this is what you need to do. Now when I cut it last night at a four on my lawnmower, I cut maybe a third of it off. It was about seven or eight inches tall. I will show photos in this video. So if you want good grass in 30 days, is to do this. Make sure your ground is prepared, raked. The people we had to do the work did not do it. But they went through and core aerate, core aerate. Then they spread the lime, the starter fertilizer, and the grass seed. Now on the edges, they put a different kind of grass for, den uh, for hills. And uh, clover makes to hold the soil up. Then they put the grass seed down. Like I said, this is a shaded area. So I used shaded fescue. I will leave a link in the description for what I used. And I gotta get another bag because there's some areas that's a little on the thin side. So I'm gonna re-fertilize. Let it grow. You water it every day pop up and like I said if you don't water it every day it'll happen like that over there it's real thin sparse then you cut it but don't cut it shallow cut it all the way up and just let it keep growing putting the water to it best to do this is in the spring or in the fall it is around September I mean, it's October 17th I believe and this was done September 16th one month and look how nice it looks easy to do like i said you can do it too it all ends right there compost on your top to grass seed if you have any comments questions or concerns leave them below i will leave links down below with the stuff i used so again if you want grass to grow very good. Like I said, when me and my ex-wife did it, when a single while we owned, we had fresh dirt like we did back there. This is what we did. When we cut grass four times that winter. But get premium grass seed. And if you're in a shaded area, get shaded grass seed. Put down starter fertilizer. Lime if you need lime. Spread your grass seed. Lime. Fertilizer. Core aerate, like if you could have with him, or rake it real good. Put a quarter to half inch thick compost over the whole yard. Like I said, if you have the ability to have a pickup truck to go back there and just broadcast it that way, it's a lot easier on your back. You won't have to pick it up and drop it and all that like we did because I don't have a pickup and we had it dropped on the driveway. The guys we hired at first did not rake the backyard too late now. But they did put all the seed down, fertilizer. They just barely put compost down. I still had three yards of compost on the driveway. I had to get somebody else to finish spreading it. Now the wife did spread the compost around the front and the side yards to give it a little boost. And then after they did the compost, they put two bales of straw on top of it. Then I had the three sprinklers. Like I said, one of the sprinklers just didn't hit that one section. That's why the grass is not growing too good. I've moved the sprinklers since. 
Yesterday, 30 days after they planted the grass seed, I cut the grass. It was probably seven to eight inches tall. I raised my Honda lawnmower as high as it can go to number four. I cut the yard. Now the areas that are real thin, I did not touch. Then I moved the sprinklers again. I had one over there on the property line. I moved it to where behind the fire pit. The one was behind the fire pit, moved it over here by the patio. And then the other one does the side yard. So I have a sprinkler timer on the side of the house. Our water pressure is not the best, so we only do one sprinkler at a time. I let them run 20 minutes. Now the one is back here by the fire pit. I just have it running every other day. The other ones that need more water, I have it running every day. So if you want grass seed to grow, nice backyard, do like I did. Great seed and compost. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, leave them below. If you're new to this channel, please thumb it up. I hope this helps you get grass to grow because it makes it grass grow in my yard and the other yards I have had in the past. Thank you everyone. Thumb up the video and if you're new, subscribe.